Okay, for 7a, I'm going to read this. Uh, it's a word problem. Uh, the talking about the tallest freestanding structure, person standing 619 feet away from the base of the building, and we have an angle of depression from the top of the building to the person is 77.0013. We want to approximate the height of this building to the nearest foot. So, uh, first of all, what we're going to do is we want to draw a picture of what's happening. We're given that we have an angle of depression. Now, if you have an angle of depression, that means that you're looking down at something. So a person's looking down here uh, to a person, and this person is standing 619 feet away from the base of the building, and you want to find uh, the height. So that's the information that we're provided. So looking down, angle of depression, means it's looking down. This angle inside is not going to be 77.013. The outside one is because it's got to be measured from the horizontal when you have angle of depression. If this angle is 77.03, that means that this one inside is also equal to 77.013 because we're talking about alternate interior angles. If you have parallel lines like this, it means that this inside angle is going to match this inside angle there alternate interior angles allows us to do that. So this is what our picture looks like. We want to find a trig function that relates the side that we're given. Now in this case, if we go across the angle, across from the angle is, we have our opposite side. And then this is going to have to be the adjacent side because the side opposite the right angle would be the hypotenuse. So you want to pick a trig function that relates the opposite and adjacent sides since this is the two sides that we have information for. You're going to use tangent in this case. So we're going to do tangent 77.013 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent x over 619. Okay. Uh, so now that we have this, we want to solve for x. x is equal to 619 times tangent 77.013. And it asks us to round to the nearest foot. So when we multiply this together, you get 2864 feet, and this is an accurate amount for the height of this building. This is actually more than a half mile tall at this point, so this is the tallest building at the time this video was shot.